Electrical energy and power. Electrical energy and power. Now let's consider a circuit um, with one resistor of resistance R and uh, one battery with a potential. Dif this is this is the positive terminal. And this is the negative terminal. The potential difference here is delta V. Normally, the current flows from a the positive terminal to the negative terminal so this is the direction of current now there are a couple of things that you need to know about the behavior of current in an electric circuit keep in mind that there are two types of potential differences in a circuit you have emfs and you have voltage drops you understand that right EMF is the amount of electrical potential energy supplied to a circuit per unit charge by a source. In this case, it is a battery. Now, the voltage drop is the amount of electrical potential energy consumed per unit charge in a circuit, for example, by the resistor. Now, we know that energy is conserved. Keep in mind, energy is conserved, which means that the total amount of electrical energy per unit charge supplied into the circuit must be equal to the total amount of electrical energy consumed per unit charge because energy is conserved. So that statement is very important since, since energy is conserved implies that the total amount of energy supplied per unit charge, that is total electrical energy supplied per unit charge must be equal to the total electrical energy consumed per unit charge. This is a statement of the law of conservation of energy in an electric circuit, which you will later on see as Kikarov's or Kicharov's voltage rule. The total amount of electrical energy supplied per unit charge stands for what? The sum of EMFs. So the sum of all EMFs must be equal to the sum of all voltage jobs this is a pretty important statement and it's formally known as Kirchhoff's voltage rule which is basically a statement of the law of conservation of energy which is basically the statement of the law of conservation of energy we know that power electrical power p is defined as so is defined as the amount of electrical energy supplied or consumed per unit time. You understand that, right? The amount of electrical energy supplied or consumed per unit time, which is going to be equal to the amount of electrical energy supplied. It's defined to be what? Q multiplied by delta V all divided by T but Q over T stands for what? Current. So this is equal to IV. So the amount of electric, this is electrical power supplied. So the electrical power supplied to a circuit PS is always going to be IV. This is the power supplied. Understand that if you're asked to calculate the power supplied, use that. Now, the electrical power consumed by the circuit will be given by, um, keep in mind that this is VIR from Ohm's law. This is going to be equal to I square R. So we have two things. I need to, for you to look at it. This is electrical power supply. P equal to IV, this implies that 
v is equal to p all divided by i one stand yeah we're substituting different variables but one represents power supplied and one represents power consumed i'm going to explain mathematically they're the same yeah yeah mm -hmm. exactly i love the way you put it so this is the power supply now clement look at it let me make a comment uh, well if you look at this equation the power supplied in a given circuit is constant right which means that an increase in voltage will decrease what current because p is constant the reason i say so is because initially we know that v is equal to ir an increase in voltage will increase what current but if the amount if the amount of power supplied is constant then an increase in voltage will decrease current this explains why high tension cables electricity is transmitted at a very high voltage so that the amount of current actually in the cable is so minute so much so that birds can land on the cable and not get electrocuted and part of the reasons why they don't even get electrocuted is because their feet, the distance between their feet is so small that the, the potential difference between their two feet is virtually zero. So no charges can flow between the birds. But the major reason that they really don't get electrocuted is because the amount of current transmitted really, really is small. Um, now look at the power consumed the power consumed p is given by i square r come to think about it if this means that this means that if the current that is transmitted is very high the power that will be lost or consumed will be super great you understand that right and a lot of it will dissipate. As a matter of fact, the wire will burn out. So because of this, electrical power companies transmit current at very high voltages to minimize the power loss due to heat. Another expression that you may want to see is P is equal to IV, which will be equal to V over R multiplied by V. This is V squared over R. If you are asked to calculate the power supply, you use this. If you are asked to calculate the power consumed, you use this. You can either use this to calculate the power supplied or the power consumed, depending upon what? The variables given to you and the context.